Hey everybody, hey everybody, it's the Faxman for this week's edition of Faxman Friday, which means it makes no sense to me because the game I'm giving you is on a Saturday. As I sit here on a Friday in snowy, I said fucking snowy, Virginia. How the fuck is it snowing in Virginia on the 20th of March, right? I'm fucking opening day of baseball in two weeks. It's fucking snowing outside. Anyway, but what I promise you, baseball props. I promise you baseball props, right? I'm going to give you... Three bets you can make in baseball that are going to make you money. I want to go on record and saying I lost my Wednesday comp play when I had my Thursday play, but I put the video out on Wednesday. I said that the North Carolina State game against LSU would go over 140. Did not. Should it have? Sure it should have. Why? Because I fucking bet it. I'm supposed to win, right? We're all supposed to win. Uh, I'm not an excuse guy. Um, there are certain games that kind of sting where you say, like, you know what? I was right on this one, and I lost. But then again, look, I've had fucking games, and you guys know the same thing, where you bet a baseball game, and you're like, I really love this pitcher, he should do good. He's got fucking bases loaded, no out every inning, and he gets into these like, double plays, and he gets out of the inning, and then the team you bet on winds up with two hits, but they got four errors, and they wind up winning the game. So I don't like to say I'm on the right side and lost, the wrong side and win. Fuck. To me, the right side is, is when you get paid. The wrong side is when you fucking lose. It's the only way you can put it. But that's just one of them games where I looked at when I... Um, was, was briefing through the, the recap said it should have been a lot more points in that game. So those are the ones you kind of just put on the side and you say, that one fucking stung. Because I wasn't supposed to lose that one. But don't say bad beat. I hate that fucking word. Oh, that was a bad beat. What happened? Oh, it was up like 19 and the other team scored like a meaningless three-pointer. Late 15 and a half. Well, yeah, shit happens. It's not a fucking bad beat. That's not a bad beat, okay? Bad beat is anytime you lose a game, it's bad. What do you want to start with? Baseball, football. Oh, plugs. Let's go. Bookmaker.eu. Guys, I got to do it. I got to get the fucking check. Fat guys got to eat. All right. Bookmaker.eu. If you're playing baseball, football, basketball, lacrosse, synchronized swimming, rugby, cricket, and the other sports, surfing that you like, bookmaker.eu for your needs. Use the promo code FAXMAN or call 1-800-32. So I don't even know what it is. But sorry, Bookmaker. I don't know the number. Anyway, the... Um, I'm doing the plug. Fucking take the plug. Okay? Play at Bookmaker. Guys that open up an account at my forum, sportsforumpicks.com. Free week of baseball and basketball and the rest of my props. How's that? Okay? You happy? That's what you got. So at sportsforumpicks.com, click on the Bookmaker banner. You guys are good to go. Shoot me an email, and I'll get you hooked up. Free week. Minimum deposit 300. Uh, let's go to baseball. Let's go to baseball first. Uh, team total. New York Mets. 82 and a half wins. Fucking ridiculous team total. It's fucking ridiculous. You got a pitcher coming back from Tommy John surgery. And another thing, too, about this Tommy John surgery, the two craziest things in the world. What are the odds that fucking Tommy John had Tommy John surgery? It's like Lou Gehrig having Lou Gehrig diseases. Those are the two most crazy coincidences in the world. I don't know. I kind of look at it, think, figure these things out. I'd be thinking. Um, I don't think Harvey's going to have a great year. I think I'll be okay. But anybody coming back from Tommy John surgery, if you look at the history, they don't have the years that they're expecting to have. Their innings are cut short. Bullpens will fuck them. I expect the Mets to have probably about uh, 10 to 15 games that they'll, they'll find that, that will be winnable, that they'll lose. That's, to me, that's huge. My projection is anywhere like 78, 79, 80, and that's pretty much giving them 80 on the high side. Having them uh, 82 and a half, that means they need 83 to beat me. It's not going to fucking happen. Under 82 and a half in the Mets uh, win total. They have problems with the Braves, Nationals, all the teams in the division they fucking have problems with. So you'll, you'll be fine. Under 82 and a half Mets, they will, they will not win 83 games. Okay. Second thing that I observed, um, they have the lines at Bookmaker on, on divisions, series, whatever. If you want to bet the, not, the Washington Nationals to win the NL East, uh, it's minus 500 or 490, whatever the case is. Now, you got to be out of your fucking mind to lay 490 on anything. I mean, if you have tomorrow's paper, you don't do it. It's just principle, okay? But basically, they're that much better than anybody in that division. They'll probably win that by 10 games or more. So, um, we know that, okay? But now I have an option. I could bet the Nationals to win the pennant, and they're going to give me plus 265, plus 265 at Bookmaker to win the pennant. Well, to me, that's a good value. If I'm already, you know, if I win the division, I'm holding the, I'm holding the cards now, right? I'm holding the cards. I mean, I'm going to probably have the best record in baseball. 
And then in the World Series, I'm getting 565. So even if I lost my balls, let's say I lost my balls come October and say, hey, you know what? Maybe I buy some back. They're going to be prohibitive favorites over anybody that they play. Now, I know you guys out west in LA are saying, oh, well, what about fucking, you know, Kershaw? Well, Kershaw fucking blows. He's choked more times than Linda fucking Lovelace. He doesn't win playoff games. Fuck the Dodgers. There's really nobody in the National League that's going to be able to compete. The Giants have broken up a little bit. I like their coach, their manager, I should say. But, you know, they lost some pieces. I don't like them. You know, that's uh, that the whole division is going to be wide open. There's, there's no team. You know, St. Louis is going to be dealing with pitching problems most of the season. So that's it. You fucking Cub fans that say this is the year because we got a manager from Tampa. You can go pull your pricks, too, because that's not happening. So the Nationals clearly are the class of, of the National League. Why not take 265 for having them winning the, the pennant in plus 585 or plus 560, whatever it is, to win the World Series? It's a huge, huge difference. I think it's a math mistake based on the odds they put out. So let's take advantage of that. All right, it's time to go to college basketball. A couple things. I looked at the UAB uh, uh, UCLA game, okay? And what I did was I, I looked at the game yesterday. First, let's look at the line. It's seven points. Should the line be seven? No. What should it be? Probably should be about two or three or one or pick. It doesn't really matter. It's a coin flip game. You give me seven points in a coin flip game, I'll take the seven points. I'm not a fucking moron, right? It's, it's insane. You want to give me a money line of serious money on a coin flip game, I'll take the fucking money line, right? It, doesn't, it makes sense to do that. Uh, I looked at both games yesterday, okay? I seen UCLA. Let me let me go to UCLA. I, I don't normally do notes, you know, but UCLA. Let me go to first. I'm sorry. Fuck UCLA. I hate UCLA. You know that John Wooden, that old decrepit fucker? He was as crooked as they can be, and they're busting poor Jim Beheim's balls for doing nothing. Honorable guy. Beheim's the man. Fucking Big East, Dwayne Pearl, Washington, Georgetown, St. John's. Fucking that. that it's easy to get the five best fucking players in bas in uh, in basketball in the era that that uh, Wooden had, Jabbar, all these fucking guys, Walton, fucking paid them pricks all that money. Fuck him. So you guys, I'm saying fuck Calipari, but nobody's beating Kentucky. Anyway, uh, UAB they're down 12 2 first five minutes of the game. It happens. They're playing Iowa State. You know, jitters. It happens. But they showed a lot of fucking balls. Okay, as the Italians would say, a lot of coolions. Okay. Come back for uh, at the eleven minute mark of that game. They were uh, it was from the eleven minute mark on that game to the end of the game. Five points never separated. They were never down by more than five points after that. Either up, whatever. So they basically scrapped what basket for basket, foul for foul, fucking cock for cock. They played them. Okay. So that showed me a lot. They stayed in the game. They stayed focused. On the flip side, I look at I look at UCLA. And for those people that say, hey, you know, if they start out slow, what if UCLA starts out fast? UCLA don't start out fast. They didn't score their first fucking two points until four minutes into the game. So I don't have to worry about that. Uh, but with 12 minutes to go or 13 minutes to go in the game, UCLA is up 44-34, okay? You're up 10 points, you know, in, in a game with 13 minutes to go in the game and you got momentum. There should be no way a, a controversial call ends that game. Let's now go... Eight minutes. You still have lost 44 points. They go eight minutes without a fucking point. So being up 44-34, now down by nine. 17, was it 17-0 run? 19-0 run. They get some breaks. They find a way to pull it out late. God bless them. Good job. Problem is in this tournament, you can't go on five, six, seven, eight minutes, eight minute runs without scoring. You will get fucking crippled. Okay, you will lose. As we advance, you will see that. Them eight, nine minute droughts become four, five minute droughts you can't do. To three, three, uh, two, three minute droughts, you have to keep yourself in the game because the pressure will be on. I, I, I think UAB beat a better team in Iowa State than UCLA did with SMU. I think they match up well. They're athletic, disciplined, they're not afraid to shoot. Um, you give me seven points in that game, I will fucking bet that all day long and twice on Sunday, no question. So that's what I'm. That's what I'm doing. You know, uh, that's who I'm playing. Alabama, Birmingham, plus the seven against uh, UCLA. That's gonna be our play. So you got two comp games, uh, two two uh, actually three props in baseball, a uh, a, a base a basketball game for Saturday. I'll holler back at you on um, on. Um, 
Tuesday or Wednesday for my Whip It Out Wednesday game. We'll get you rolling and make you some money. Everybody, have a lucky tournament. Okay, I know it's crazy out there. Be careful. Use your head. Okay, and um, have fun with it. Make some money on Saturday. Great day. Good luck. And as always, go fuck yourself.